Hi there, welcome to Jackrabbit Connect. This session is actually on Jackrabbit ePayments, but I thought we'd do it with a little twist and make it more interesting. So I'm going to share five tuition tips to ensure you're not losing out on revenue. And in case we haven't met in real life or virtually, my name is Amber Smith and I am the product marketing manager. And as I've said before, the best part of my job is doing things just like this hopping on to events virtual and in-person to help share tips for you to make life easier as a youth activity center owner, office manager, um, a person wearing many hats. Um, we are here to help. So let's jump in. Before we hop into the good stuff, I wanted to share some interesting data with you. So every year, Jackrabbit publishes the benchmarks report from our industries. And we're able to do that because of the number of clients we have. And we're able to do that safely and securely without giving away any client's identity or data specific to their account. So you can see that we have three additions here. So dance and swim are pretty self-explanatory and class is primarily gymnastics, but you've got a great mix of different types of businesses there. You've got ninja, music, swim, gymnastics, cheer, dance, multi-sport, pretty much anything can fall into the class category. Now you can see that class and swim are very close in their numbers. These numbers represent the percentage of businesses that are processing contactless automatic e-payments every month. Now we've got a little dip in the dance one, and that's not to say that dance is not using e-payments, but maybe they have not moved over to automating the process. And if you're a little bit of a control freak, and I, I feel like I can say that because I myself am, you know, I like to be able to press the button on my own accord. Um, I really want to encourage you to think about releasing the grip a little bit. And there's a couple reasons why. Whenever you automate something, not only is it saving you time, which equates to money because of you know the time spent paying someone to do a task, but it's also increasing the accuracy and it's allowing you to move your energy to something else that, that needs more of that manual attention and touch. So without further ado, let's hop into these tips. Number one, you can't do any of this without integrated payments. So what does that mean? When we integrate with payment processors, that means anytime you process a single payment up to a thousand payments at one time and beyond. So it's, it's unlimited. Processing them through Jackrabbit not only makes sure that the payment is made, but it also puts that payment on the family's account so that the balance reflects that new payment made. Um, I like to tell the story, and in case some of you have heard it, I'll keep it really brief. But in my time working in, in a dance studio in the office, we had paper forms for auto draft payments. Now, this was a very long time ago. Security and things have come a much further way. But the the gist of the story was Every month, someone, which was usually me, had to punch in all 16 numbers, the expiration date, and the zip code for all 1,000 families. That was in addition to acknowledging and helping people when they come to the window, answering the phone, answering emails. And while that seems like a good use of me being in the office because it may save some money on, you know, processing or something. And while that might seem like, oh, wow, you know, she can multitask and do all of that. It really leaves a lot of room for error, something slipping through cracks, and a lot of double work, honestly. So Jackrabbit, 100% rate transparency guaranteed, no matter who you process with, that integrates with Jackrabbit. Tip number two, payment on file. Always, 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 from the day a family starts with you, require a payment on file. Whether that's the payment that you use when you are processing for them, 
you offer that convenient service or you allow them to go into their portal and pay themselves. You want to have a backup payment on file. And this just ensures that if for some reason they forget, um, you can make sure their account is in good standing. Sometimes when people aren't paying their bill, it's because they truly forgot or they got a new card and they just need to update it. So having a payment on file and having something in your policies, of course, consult your legal counsel, um, just really backs you up on having that backup payment and when you're allowed to use it. Discounting and prorating, I swear this is the, the debate of the jackrabbit world. Um, we have some clients that really are confident in the value of what they provide, and that's fantastic. And so they don't discount very much, if at all. Then we have some clients that have given cards, and they will discount in order to get their enrollment up. Wherever you stand on the spectrum, that's not the debate for today. We'll save that for another one. Jackrabbit allows you to set up rules for when you discount, how much you discount, and when you prorate, and how much. And when both of those options, you know, someone qualifies for, which one stands? Is it both or is it one or the other? And so it's really powerful that you can allow Jackrabbit to do this part for you because it can feel like you're trying to figure out the square root of 82. Um, whenever you're trying to manually discount and prorate. And nobody has time for that. So set this up through Jackrabbit. And with that advice, I will say, make your discounting as easy as possible. If you have to put a page long chart on your website to explain how you discount, you're making it difficult for you and parents. So Simplify it, use Jackrabbit um, to automate that. And again, another thing off of your shoulders. Auto draft, automated billing, whatever you want to call it. Um, Jackrabbit allows you to automate the posting of tuition fees and then also automate the processing of payment. So your entire billing process can be automated. You decide the schedule. You decide when it ends, and you can also say, I would really like a reminder email X many days before this takes place. This allows those control freaks like myself um, to have a notice so that you can go in and pause, edit, delete. Um, we call this set it and forget it, but we don't want you to truly forget it in the event that something needs to be adjusted. But this is a great thing to offer for your parents. You don't have to rely on them to remember when to pay you. You can ensure that your money comes in on the day that it's due because 90 to 95% of your accounts are going to process and be approved. And it allows you to, again, focus your attention on something else. Um, sometimes the first falls on a weekend and who wants to open their laptop if that's the only thing you have to do? And you can truly be disconnected, or maybe you're at competition, or maybe you're on a family vacation, whatever the case may be. This really allows you to just let this run in the background without you having to push any button, no matter how few. And last up, checks and balances. I think every process can benefit from checks and balances. You know, Jackrabbit is automating your process based on what you've had have set up. But what if there's just one little thing that's off? Running the tuition not posted report will shed light to that. Um, this report is highly underutilized, but it will show you anyone between a given time period that didn't have tuition posted after you just posted it. This hopefully would be a really short list for you so you can go through, double check, everything looks great. But if you've got a longer list than you expect, reach out to the support team and they can help you figure out why families are showing up. I do believe though that if you're using fixed fees, there's a chance that those are going to show up because you could technically post fixed fees every day if you wanted to. Um, so keep that in mind if that is how you post tuition. And I wouldn't be me if I didn't have a bonus tip. So 
I highly, highly, highly recommend customized receipts in addition to just having these automated in general. Um, your approved one's pretty straightforward, but for declined, why not turn on the ability to display the parent portal link and just customize the verbiage to say, hey, um, your payment didn't go through. Please log into the portal, update your payment information, and pay for tuition. You would be surprised at within 24 hours of receiving this, how many parents go in there, update their information, make the payment, and then no awkward phone calls, no awkward emails. And chances are it was a compromised card that just needed to be updated. It's truly fantastic. You've also got options for avoided and refunded. Just to keep lines of communication open as you are processing payment. If you're new here, I promise this is not too good to be true. Uh, you can get started with Jackrabbit for free today and manage your tuition revenue with ease. E-payments are available during a free trial, so you can work with our team to get set up with one of our payment processors. And all the features that we just talked about today are also included. If you're already part of the Jackrabbit Integrated ePayments fan club, <laughs> um, our team is also here in case you have any questions. If you want to understand your rate better, they can get you connected with your processor. If you have a question on automating tuition, running reports, our support team is also there for you. Um, just make sure that you reach out. You can use the question mark icon in the right hand corner. You can get to ePayment resources and or you can submit a ticket or request a call. Thank you so much for joining. And I hope that at least one thing in here is new to you and something you're ready to implement to make tuition revenue come streaming in and make your life easier.